transportation airways are the fastest means of transportation airways air transport in india is a important air transport in india is an important transport system transport system of our country it plays an important role in a northeastern states air transport play the important role in northeastern states north eastern states due to the rugged terrain undulating surfaces are not favorable for they are not favorable for growth of the other means of transport like roadways and the railways roadways and railways are not supportive to grow in a parts of a north eastern regions due to the undulating surfaces steep sided slopes of a mountains these are the base they, these are the barrier among the construction of construction and maintenance of the other means of a transport like as a railways and the roadways due to the difficult terrain frequent floods dense forest presence of a big river and a limited population residing in a northeastern states residing in northeastern states is a basic obstacle on a path of a growth of other means of transport other means of transport the air transport has made the access easier access easier air transport has made access easier and interconnects with the rest of the country rest of the parts of country rest of the parts of country the main features of air transport in india are features air transport in india are are first air travel is the fastest and most comfortable mode of transportation fastest and most comfortable mode of transportation fastest and most comfortable means of transportation it plays a vital role during the natural and human made calamities like floods floods earthquakes floods earthquakes and they are also useful during as a wars during war air transport can cross sorry when uh, air transport yes air transport it can cross the difficult terrains such as the mountains deserts marshy lands forests oceans as well as the remote areas remote and inaccessible areas remote and inaccessible areas where roadways and railways it can't be as a construct roadways and railways can't easily construct for example the steep sided slopes of upper himalayas steep sided slopes of upper himalayas steep sided slopes of upper himalayas marshy lands of sundarbans marshy lands of sundarbans in such areas the air transport is a most preferable means of a transportation for movement of a passengers from a one place towards other air transport it was as a nationalized in india in 1953 air transport nationalized in india in 1953 there are a large number of 
प्राइवेट कंपनीज लार्ज नंबर ऑफ प्राइवेट कंपनीज लार्ज नंबर ऑफ प्राइवेट कंपनीज विच प्रोवाइड डोमेस्टिक एज वेल एज इंटरनेशनल इंटरनेशनल एयर सर्विसेस इंटरनेशनल एयर सर्विसेस एयर सर्विसेस इन इंडिया the domestic and international air services in india provided by the pavan hans helicopters limited pavan hans helicopters limited pavan hans helicopters limited pavan hans helicopters limited all the domestic and international domestic and international airports domestic and international airports airports are managed by airways authority of india airways authority of india airways authority of india pavan hans pavan hans helicopters limited provide helicopter services to oil and natural gas commission natural gas commission in its offshore operations offshore operations offshore operations the only disadvantage associated with the air travel is its cost its cost and the fact that it is not within the reach of a common people within the reach of common people all over the country there are there are 12 international airports 12 international airports first amritsar which earlier known as a raja sansi international airport now presently known as a guru ramdas international airport amritsar guru ramdas international airport amritsar second indira gandhi international airport delhi Indira Gandhi International Airport Delhi Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport Mumbai Subhash Chandra Bose International Airport Calcutta Subhash Chandra Bose International Airport Calcutta Thiruvananthapuram नदिम्बा चेरी नदिम्बा चेरी नदिम्बा चेरी इन तिरुवनंतपुरम इन अनंतपुरम मीनम बक्कम मीनम बक्कम इन चेन्नई मीनम बक्कम इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट इन चेन्नई Meenam Bakkam International Airport in Chennai, Begum Pet in Hyderabad, B E G U M P E T in Hyderabad, Begum Pet in Hyderabad, Guwahati International Airport, Guwahati International Airport, etc. guwahati international airport these were the important means of our transportation land transport which includes as a roadways railways pipeline transportation waterways as inland waterways and overseas waterways inland waterways function to the rivers and the overseas waterways 
work to the seas and oceans through which india connected with the southeastern asian countries of our world and european european african and american countries are connected through the western the ports located at the western coastal plains afterwards as the airways the fastest means of transportation has divided into two forms two types domestic airways within a country international airways in between of a countries domestic airways it can be also called as a intra state international international and uh, other as a international in between of the countries in between of a two countries as a international airways so next is a communication the second part of a chapter communication transmitting the information among the masses to the means as a communication 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 in a present economy with growth of a tertiary sector afterwards in 1990s growth of tertiary sector afterwards 1990s 1990s it boosted as a tertiary sector in which were especially as a telecommunication services telecommunication services improved in india telecommunication services improved in india communication network is used to send messages from one place to another which is a prerequisite of a progress in a modern society in modern society communication has divided into two forms there are two forms of the communications are there personal communication communication personal communication mass communication personal communication when prabhu transmitting the information towards as a chayam personal communication it helps in communicating the information and ideas from one person towards another one person towards other one person towards other it is made through the telecom postal network postal network telecom which supported by the computers postal network postal network postal network postal network postal services indian postal network is the largest in a world largest in a world <laughs> postal network indian postal network is the largest in a world there are 1.54 lakhs post offices across the country 1.54 lakhs post offices function across the country across the country they handle parcels as well as personal written communication parcels as well as personal written communication communication envelopes 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 and cards are considered under the first class mail envelopes and cards are considered under the first class mail first class mail and first class mail and packets book parcels registered newspapers periodicals like employment news periodicals are categorized under the second class mail second class mail book parcels registered newspapers 
periodicals are categorized into the second class mail to facilitate the quick delivery to facilitate the quick delivery of a mails in a larger towns and cities there are six mail channels have been introduced in india first business channel business channel bulk mail channel periodical channel rajdhani channel metro channel green channel green channel green channel in the sense if the government has passing any of the order related with the individuals it has given in a form of a through the green channel for example if channel is a use for this green channel there are a six channels are function in a cities in a larger cities larger cities for transmitting as a information business channel bulk mail channel periodical channel rajdhani channel metro channel and green channel and green channel green channel india has the one of the largest telecom network in asia it has about the 37565 telephone exchanges telephone exchanges functioned and in entire country entire country entire country is it has been covered with the stds subscriber trunk dialing subscriber trunk dialing stds subscriber trunk dialing dialing a large number of private companies they have recently large number of private companies recently entered in the field of a telecommunications this has resulting in this has resulted in lowering the tariffs and better facilities to the consumers better facilities to the consumers better facilities to the consumers it has been made the possible by the integrating integrating the development in a space technology with communication technology with communication technology next is a mass communication mass communication mass communication it plays a vital role in the lives of a people lives of people mass communication means communicating with the several people at the same time for example the mass communication includes the television radio television radio television radio films books magazines newspapers newspapers all india radio doordarshan and fm channels fm channels are a large number of a private television channels have the largest terrestrial networks in the world terrestrial networks in the world the programs transmitted 
The programs are transmitted and printed in regional languages to reach masses. To reach masses, they broadcast a variety of programs for people of all ages. All ages, they provide information. Information to different sections of society. Different sections of society regarding various modifications, technologies introduced in society. For example, as a Mera Pen Mera Kate, it's telecast to the Jalanda Dudashan. Jalanda Dudashan. Jalanda do darshan to which are some modifications introduced in an agriculture field given to the rural household farmers to the farmers. Mass communication creates as an awareness among the people about various national programs and policies. India produces a very large number of newspapers and periodicals. Newspapers are published in almost 100 languages and dialects. The largest number of newspapers are published in Hindi language, followed by the English and Urdu also. India is the largest producer of feature films in the world. The film industry in India is the largest industry producing all types of films short films, documentaries, feature films, etc. For the certification of uh, movies, films, there is as the Central Board of Film Certification. The Central Board of Film Certification is the authority to certify both Indian and uh, foreign films, to certify both Indian and Foreign films. Censor board is function to check upon, to check upon, to check upon movies and different programs, 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 which would be as a telecast. Are these are these such kind of the programs are these are supportive for the formation of a healthy society or not formation of healthy society or not for which as a censor board functioned in our country functioned in our country censor board functioned in our country. Next is uh, international trade. International trade. International trade. Exchange of goods between two parties such as people, states, countries is called a trade. Is called trade exchange of goods in between of the people, states and countries, countries is referred to as a trade. The market is a, the market is a directly associated with the trade activities, trading activities. Market is a place where the buying and the selling activities done by the people done by the people local trade is within the country whereas the international trade is in between of a two or more countries international trade is in between of two or more than two countries in a present scenario due to the influence of a globalization complete world becomes as the global village global village in which all the different economies of a world they are interdependent not as independent all the economies of a world 
they are depend on each other for completion of their needs for completion of their needs for example india known for the agriculture goods which has imports the crude oil from gulf countries and exported as the food items to the such gulf countries food items to gulf countries of iran iraq afghanistan philistine in such countries as a food items exported from india towards gulf countries towards the gulf countries in our country trade is carried to the all the three important means of a transport waterways airways and uh, land transport and land transport land transport when india signed the punch shield remember punch shield in 1956 with china it signed the five principles according to which both the countries they will be developed as the cordial relations in a field of a trade after the independence after independence when india it joined the, as the non aligned movement such group of a countries which neither prefer to the us and not to the russia such group of a countries they became as a neutral in between of a russia and the america these countries were the yugoslavia egypt and india so these economies develop as a cordial relations with those both of these countries presently india imported its uranium from the us and our uh defense materials arms ammunition we are purchasing from the russia from russia their best example as a six of the nuclear submarines india purchased from the russia india purchased from russia uh, why because at that time it was a part of a non aligned movement nam the international trade is considered as economic barometer for a country as its advance advancement shows the economic prosperity of a country import and export of goods are the components of a trade the difference between the export and import is known as the balance of trade balance of trade the difference between imports and exports imports and exports is known as the balance of trade is known as balance of trade if the value of exports is more than the value of imports it is called as the favorable balance of trade or positive balance of trade when exports are increasing from a country as compared to the as compared to the imports which has indicates as the positive balance of trade positive balance of trade as their opposite when imports are increasing imports are increasing as compared to the exports as compared to exports as the they indicates as the unfavorable balance of trade or negative balance of trade negative balance of trade important items of export include as agriculture agriculture and allied products minerals ores india exported at 60 percentage of iron ore to the japan ores gems jewelry chemical and allied products engineering goods petroleum products etc petroleum products etc important imports includes the india imported from the foreign countries as petroleum and its products pearls precious stones in organic chemicals coal coke and machinery 
and machinery are the important items are included under the imported goods in our country imported goods in our country imported goods in our country clear imported commodities in our country the bulk of accounts bulk of imports accounts for the 28.2 percentage of our total imports this group includes fertilizers cereals edible oils news prints in the last two decades trade in commodities has been sub, uh, superseded by the exchange of information and knowledge india has emerged as the leading producer of a software technology software technology which are concentrated in a decentralized forms in a different parts of a country these information technology centers are known as the software technology parks software technology parks for example the punjab soft punjab's software technology park is known to the mohali known to the mohali such places noida gurgaon guwahati kanpur lucknow bhubaneswar hyderabad bengaluru mumbai madurai thiruvananthpuram these are the important such areas jaipur gurgaon dehradun shrinagar those areas which were as a developed due to as a concentration of it based industries information technology based industries clear information technology based industries concentrated in a these software technology parks supportive for the increase the share of a industries in a economic development of a country next is a tourism tourism as a trade tourism as a trade tourism has become a very big industry in india and has grown substantially over the last 3 decades there has been a surge of foreign tourists visiting in india every year there has been an increase of 11.8 percentage 11.8 percentage of a total number of a tourists as compared to the 2001 in 2011 2001 to the 2011 which has contributing which has contributing as 64889 crores in our foreign exchange foreign exchange trade it promotes tourism it promotes invisible trade of our country invisible trade of our country invisible trade of our country the growth of a tourism growth of tourism supported the growth of a states like as a kerala gujarat madhya pradesh jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh himachal pradesh such places which were known for which are known for their temples known for their temples and the pilgrimage towns of a southern india pilgrimage towns of southern india tourists are the potential areas tourist potential areas are concentrated in a north eastern regions of india north eastern regions of india north eastern regions of india so what are the as a benefits raised to as a tourism tourism in india first it has led to the growth of hospitality it led with the growth of a tourism led to the growth of a hospitality industry and created the job opportunities it created job opportunities second 
tourism promotes the national integration third it helps to develop the international understanding about our culture and heritage fourth tourism provides the support tourism provides support to the local handicrafts and the cultural cultural centers fifth foreign tourists visit india for heritage tourism medical purposes medical tourism business tourism business tourism which helps to increase as the foreign exchange of india foreign exchange of india it is as a boost to the tourism industry this was our chapter lifelines of indian economy any questions